Tommy Fury and Jake Paul, what just happened? So Jake Paul, Tommy Fury. Okay, first off, yeah, Tommy had an exhibition fight here versus what was supposed to be Paul Bama, what ended up being, I thought it was Rocky Balboa, maybe Apollo Creed standing across from him. That man was jacked. But it was Roly Lambert. And listen, in this fight, there's not much to talk about. There's a lot of jabs going on. It, it honestly looked like Tommy was there to not get damaged and leave. And fair play to him. It was a last minute, literally last minute opponent. And it's one of those things where you don't want to take a ton of damage for a possible next fight. And boy, did we get a possible next fight. Because during that fight, Jake Paul ringside, commentating with your boy, problem child Wade concept. Did you guys ever expect that? I don't think so. But what happened next was insane. Let's talk about it. So the fight was over, Tommy and Lambert. The decision wasn't even, they didn't even raise the arms up and kiss babies and say, yeah, we all did it, everybody wins, it's an exhibition. No, they didn't get to that part. Instead, Tommy and John walk over to Jake because Jake had been talking the in fire fight. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's there to do. Maybe the expletives, whatever. But Tommy was talking back during the fight. A little bit out of character for Tommy. Hold on to that, we'll come back to it. John Fury, fully in character, walks over. Now, you know what? Sprints over. The old man was moving his ass as he ran over to Jake and started pointing a finger in his face. And you guys could have seen this maybe on the cameras, but I was sitting there in person and John was telling Jake, not fight Tommy, fight me. I'm pretty sure some of his spit got on me. He was that close to us and he was screaming at Jake, fight me, I'm a fighting man, you fight me here. And Jake was just laughing at him. And this is when I realized, oh, he's got them wound up to a degree that they don't even know. Like the Furies are fighting men, yes, but Jake is the smartest in the room when it comes to this. I have to give him his credit because John Fury then, you'd think it stopped there. You know, he does the, I'm gonna fight you and he's pointing the finger and he's leaning over the ropes. Oh, that's not it. Because John Fury then unsheathed what I can only describe as a Yeti walking around bare skin. He had the meat, the flab, all of the belly out. He took his shirt off and started shadow boxing in the middle of the ring. <laughs> this dude. He had white hair everywhere and his, his boobs were just flopping around. So yes, John Fury started shadow boxing. His, his tits started bouncing like uh, basketballs on a basketball court. That's way too graphic, sorry. But it was just that moment and, and Jake's just sitting there going, what is this guy doing? Literally out of his mouth, he's like, this old man is crazy, he's senile. But he's laughing the whole time. And then it took on a little bit of a different role because John Fury tried to step through the ropes. He got caught by security. I thought he was gonna land on me. I had to protect myself. I was like, Jake, you go somewhere else. But that didn't happen. But that was kind of in character for John Fury, right? He, he loses his cool a bit. Tommy, you don't see that out of a lot. But then Tommy lost his cool a bit because he was on the mic saying, Jake, get in the ring. Get in the ring and fight me now, I guess is what he was saying. But again, Jake is the smartest in the room when it comes to these things. Of course, he's not gonna do that. He's gonna sit there and troll and get under his skin more and more and make Tommy do something that's not in character. And he did it, he got him. Tommy runs over to the side of the ring. He tries to step through the ropes. I actually had to brace myself because Tommy was, like John acted like he was gonna come out. Tommy was legit gonna come out and try to fight Jake right then, right there. And Jake was goading it on, just bring it. They're building a fight. If you guys can't see it right now, remove the blindfold or your bias, it's happening. And I know it is. Why? Because there was a moment and I can't give up things that I might maybe be sued for. So I'm not gonna say too much, but let's just say there was a member from Team Fury and a member from Team Paul shaking hands and agreeing to something in the near future. I can't say what, I can't say who, but I witnessed it with these baby blues. It's happening, I don't know when, I don't know where, but I can guarantee you this, there was a handshake deal made. Does that mean that it's 100% gonna happen? Maybe not, but for what we saw and for what I saw, there's an agreement verbally in place for this fight to go one, two, three times around the block. The third time's a charm. This one was, it was, it was chaotic because not only was Tommy getting involved, his team was getting involved, Jake's team was there, Jake's agony him on, and then finally, everything came to a hold after that handshake. And one of the sides said, when you fight a fury and you make a deal, you better honor it. And the other side said, absolutely. That's all I know, that's what happened. If you didn't hear it on the television, believe the source. I was two inches away. 
And the last thing I'll say on this, was it chaotic? Yes. By the way, saw Tyron Woodley there. He was sitting ringside for a bit. Got to talk with him, got to talk with the side men. It was a great night. And as far as this interaction went, you could have expected it. When Jake gets in the room, this is what he does. And I have to say this, fine, I'll admit it. I enjoyed commentary with Jake Paul. It was a fun time. When I met him in person, he was very generous. He was very nice. Jake, damn it. I like you. There it is. Jake Paul, Tommy Fury, I think it's set in stone, at least in some way. This has to happen. There's too much bad blood. When someone's father takes his shirt off, shakes his tits, and says, fight me, not my son, and then you better fight him, it's already done. And then Tommy coming out of character and doing what he did, the fight has to be made. I don't know when, I don't know where, but I do know that this fight needs to happen. When, where, I don't have those answers, but, I guess we'll find out.